Welcome to Code Report. I'm your host, Connor Hookstra. This is going to be a short episode this week because I am slowly losing my voice. So let's just jump straight into the contest that happened last week. Last week, we had quite a few contests. Uh, we had three contests from Code Forces. One of them was announced uh, during the week. That was the uh, round 466 that got moved to Saturday, and then they added the uh, round 467 on Sunday. We also had the Top Coder SRM 730 uh, University Code Sprint from HackerRank on Friday, and of course, the weekly contest from Lead Code on Saturday evening. Taking a look at our top 10 leaderboards, uh, because we have so many contests, we're going to split them into two once again. Uh, here are our three rounds from Code Forces. You can see uh, some big names up there. Petra coming in fourth in the Div 1 contest uh, yes, or today, this morning. Uh, we also had Omnic and uh, Yui and KRK as well. Then taking a look at our top 10 leaderboards for our top coder uh, hacker rank and lead code contest. Petra taking the top spot in the Div 1 top coder contest. And uh, Gennady, also known as Tourist, uh, taking the top spot in the hacker rank code sprint. And uh, Yui taking the top spot in the lead code contest uh, 73, I should say. In this video, I'm going to only be covering one problem. That's problem two from Leak Code Contest 73. Then later this week, I'll be releasing two other videos. And I also have a few videos that I said I'd release in previous weeks that I haven't got to yet. So I'll be hoping to release those as well. So let's take a look at our first problem. Our first problem that we'll be covering is problem two from Leak Code Contest 73 entitled Escape the Ghosts. The problem states you are playing a simplified Pac-Man game. You start at the point 00, 0 and your destination is target index 0 and target index 1. There are several ghosts on the map and the ith ghost starts at uh, the 0, 01 uh, index of the ith element of your ghost vector. Each turn you and all ghosts simultaneously may move in one of the four, four cardinal directions, north, east, west, or south, going from the previous point to a new point one unit of distance away. You escape if and only if you can reach the target before any ghost reaches you for any given moves the ghost may take. If you reach any square, including the target, at the same time as a ghost, it doesn't count as an escape. Return true if and only if it is possible uh, to escape. And note that our coordinates can be both positive and negative, and they'll be less than, the absolute value will be less than 10,000, and we'll have, most have uh, 100 uh, ghosts. So let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we've got two ghosts and a target of 0, 1, and uh, it outputs true. So this is what visually it looks like. And so you can see here uh, that after one move, Pac-Man can reach our target by just going up. And then the ghosts, uh, this one will either go up or left if it's moving optimally, and this one will go down. But uh, it won't matter because Pac-Man reaches the goal, so return true. Um, in another example, here we only have one ghost and we're equidistant away from our target. And after one move, uh, Pac-Man and the ghost are going to reach the target at the same time. But as the problem stated, if this happens, it doesn't count as an escape. So you might think that in order to solve this problem, you sort of have to generate every single possible combination of paths from uh, the ghost and Pac-Man to the target and see if at any point, you know, the ghost is able to catch them. But there's an easier way to solve this problem. And that's by just noting that you don't really need to uh, worry about the paths you just need to worry about how many moves does it take for both Pac-Man and the ghosts to get to the target and if the distance uh, that it takes Pac-Man to get optimally which is just going to be uh, the vertical distance and the horizontal distance from the target um, if it's less than the minimum distance of all your ghosts then you know the Pac-Man is going to be able to get there in time otherwise uh, a ghost will be able to get to the target first and in that case it's not going to be an escape um, so that's what informs our algorithm so let's take a look at the code so in this code it's pretty simple we've only got uh, three lines plus a small function so our function dist is going to return the distance it takes the number of moves it takes to get uh, from either zero zero which is where 
uh, the uh, Pac-Man is starting and or from uh, a ghost coordinate. So uh, you just pass these in and it's going to take the absolute value of your x coordinates and the absolute value of the difference of your y coordinates and then return the sum of this and this is the number of moves it takes optimally to get to the target and then so all we do here is we uh, declare a minimum variable for uh, the ghosts minimum number of moves and uh, we're going to use a range based for loop to loop through this and reset our minimum anytime it's uh it's found the ghost has less than the current minimum and then at the end we just return whether the distance that Pac-Man, uh, the number of moves that Pac-Man takes to get to the target is less than uh, this minimum distance. And if that's true, we know he can escape. And if it's not true, we know Pac-Man Pac uh, can't escape. So this algorithm will definitely be linear because we only have uh, one loop and linear in the number of ghosts that we have. Taking a look at the contests we have next week, uh, it's a quieter week. We've only got uh, three contests. Uh, obviously, our weekly contest from Lead Code on Saturday evening. We have a 101 Hack 53 contest from Hacker Rank. That's a three hour contest. And at the moment, we have a round uh, to be announced that's going to be uh, on Sunday at 1035 from Code Forces. But I wouldn't be surprised if Code Forces announces another uh, contest and changes that time. So follow me on Twitter for updates about that uh, and I'll, I'll be sure to let you guys know when I know and last but not least uh, once again we have our top 10 viewing countries so United States still in the number one spot India has overtaken Canada moving into second and dropping Canada down to third um, Germany still stays in fourth and Russia has stormed onto the scene uh, going from not ranked at all in our top 10 to being in fifth um, and then from 6 to 10, you can see every country has dropped one spot. So once again, thanks to everybody that's watching uh, all around the world. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start. You can find all of the code that I use in my videos on my GitHub page. All of the links are in the description down below. And finally, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.